Welcome back. So, yesterday on the first ride, we got, uh, I got myself into a pretty hairy situation on top of a hill uh, where it's all roots going straight across, uh, protruding out right at the very top. Um, and these cryptids uh, apparently just couldn't, uh, couldn't hook up enough to get me up over it. So what happened, it was in a, it's in a video I'm going to post shortly, but uh, it shot me up and I came back down and it just slid right to the left. So right at the top of a hill, uh, nonetheless. Um, finally got it under control and got off, went to use the winch and it was completely toasted. Just absolutely toasted. Yeah, here it is over here. Yeah, look at this piece of junk. Factory worn winch. We had to cut the, the metal cable off because uh, we actually finally, after about five minutes, we finally got the cable to actually come out. But then it wouldn't, we got it hooked up to the tree, it wouldn't winch back in. The thing's just totally fried. Uh, it won't even free spool, nothing. It, it won't engage, nothing we did. So, jumped on the forum. Everybody recommended this, the Badland 3500. It looks almost identical. <laughs> um from harbor freight i was gonna it comes with the steel steel cable which i'm not a fan of at all i went out and bought the synthetic but i think for now i'm just gonna i don't feel like messing with it pulling it back off so i think i'm just gonna leave the steel on there and uh just run it if i have issues with it i got the brand new synthetic i'll throw on at a different time um but yeah so Looks like a pretty nice piece. I got the two year extended warranty with it. No questions asked, anything happens, bring it back in. They'll give me a new one. So it was like 30 bucks for that or something for the warranty. So yeah, we're gonna throw that on here in just a minute. I got it taken apart. Nobody really wants to see me doing that. So we're gonna get that on here in a few. Um, I'll be back in a couple and show you what it looks like. So Badlands. 3,500 pound winch all installed very very simple it literally bolted right into the spots the factory mounting locations underneath had to take skid plates off front skid this is all bolted together the new lead roller and all that you know we had to do that as well but this is literally the only wiring was this the blue and the yellow didn't have to do any other wiring at all which was super awesome Still the exact same controls up here from factory. And then uh, I ended up putting the synthetic rope on too. So I bought the synthetic rope. You can see it in there. 3,500 pound rope. I'm gonna get something, something so I can, you know, some kind of mount that I can hook this onto up here. So if I need to get to it easily, if it's stuck in the mud, you know, it'll be super easy to get to. So I bought the uh, I bought the thirty I don't know thirty or thirty five dollar two two year no no questions asked warranty for it um, with the new rope kit and everything I, the total was like two twenty or something like that uh, it took me maybe an hour altogether to bolt it all in get it all wired and the skid plates you know that stuff took took the longest honestly. Uh, but yeah, so and we'll see how it works out on the trail. I mean, I can't really do a review yet, but Good to have a winch back again And the quality seems to be pretty nice. So We'll get uh, we'll we'll definitely be testing it out soon. That's for sure So that's kind of just the, the video on that So if you're looking for something easy to install cheap everybody raves about it you know everybody was telling me to get it when i was when i asked on the forum so we'll see how it performs we'll definitely put it to work that's for sure all right guys thanks